So we're on here now. Have a look. Bring him up the wash. Might be closed, illegal. We'll have a look. Twenty-three here in Queensland. There you go. He's uh, he's about twenty-four. So that's a small fish, but just in this uh, greener water here, it's a little bit sloppy, but it's the conditions we face with in this northeast. On here. Straight away, this new gutter. Now this is a good fish. See, it's picked up this worm. This new gutter drain. Good fish. Wait for the waves to come up to try to use the momentum. This is a good fish. Try not to go in there too far to spook any other fish. Just got to be patient. This is might be a big dart. Fortunately, I think it's a big dart. Yeah. See the green there in the water. A dart. I know there's a few dart fans out there, but I'm not one of them. So, can go back. So, as you can see, very sloppy seas here today. Probably a metre and a half, maybe more, two metre swell. So, I've just managed to find this, you can see this lighter greener gutter in here, and the fish are widening it just at the edge of it. You can see little melon holes and things there just where it drops they're sitting there they weren't at the back edge so I was fishing there for a while on the retrieve and just at that front edge so now I'm just casting behind it very light gear this very light MJF in skip rod little adventure of 55G Albi live worms just like six pound line, I like to use about a, a metre of fluorocarbon leader. At, and we're on again. At the lighter, harder to see the fluorocarbon because of its qualities in the water. But this is a bigger fish. So I'm walking down to the water to get a bit closer and then I'll bring it up sideways. Bigger fish, wait for a bit of a wave to wash him up. He's tumbling there. There you go, still not enormous, but again, you know, do go in the frying pan. Not ideal condition, but this gutter, as you can see, closes up this lighter green water to and end a blind end here and you can see the slightly greener water in here inside that sloppier waves out there and I'm just fishing that back edge you can see the brown 
sand, the water there, and it drops away to a slight, slightly deeper edge. Lots of little melon holes, melon holes evidenced by the greener water you see within the brown, uh, brown of the sand. Just little patches of slightly deeper water the fish like to come in and feed. So just fishing back behind that edge. Line, slowly retrieving that line up to behind the edge and the fish are picking it up there. Really, really sloppy gutter. Gutters along here today if there's northeasterly. And there's one bit of decent green water. A few dart, a little whiting. Let's see what we got next. Just a whiting. Let's check his size. Oh, might just be legal. And on again here. Just behind where these the waves are breaking at the front or just where the gutter drops over. Just a few little whiting. Some slightly bigger than others. Just using bend of the rod, bring it up along for waves. Okay. Just let that rob absorb. Much movement. Bring up only a little fish. Only a little fish might be barely legal, but better go back. Move gutters. Nice melon holes down in this end of the drain. Round ahead, on again here. Beautiful drains, melon holes. Down the end of this gutter as it rises. You know, a couple of hours after the after the low. Let's see what we got. A nice whiting. That's what we're here for. Good stuff. So here we are, better throw out again. Down this scutter that it's a couple of hours after the low, starting to fill. As you can see the darker greener strips, almost like little drains within the drains, lots of little melon holes filling up in this gutter along here, this edge, which is just not so sloppy as the water around so not a bad little gutter and there's our bait our worm i like to run so this is just a little number four aberdeen true turn hook i like to run the worm up and over the eye so it sits nice and straight a little bit on the end a bit of red tubing broken up so it spreads out along the line to attract fish to the bait Run there a bit, that's about 90 centimetres a metre. Up the first swivel, a little soft bead to stop it banging on the, the sinker, banging on the knot, breaking it. Up to just about 30 centimetres or so to the top swivel to stop the line twist with the Albi. So that's a rig. Just get it back out there in those little bits of dry. One again. And just at the edge of that darker greener water, these fish are sitting. Come up with the wave. Sometimes I'll just swing them into me, but turn them around. Yeah, I think he's 
well hooked, I'll just bring him up. There we go. Another keeper whiting. So I know I, I talk a lot about not walking in the water when you're chasing whiting. That's particularly on the low tide I find because in the low targeting those gutters that are right up against the shoreline and you know that sort of a closed end I come up and generally first I'll you know cast well back from the shore and check there's no whiting enclosed before I cast out the back. Now sometimes as the tide's rising like this your gutter's a bit further out or the edge and by that I mean these um, quite large melon holes or almost as I said drains within the drains in this beautiful gutter down here now to get out to that edge sometimes just need to wade out to it but before I do again I cast before it then throw it out and then you know, I'll find where the fish are and then I'll get my line back out back out to there